what if you two won't come back it's your boy Simon Pace here today and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install desking mod menu aka desking injector 1.4 for Grand Theft Auto 5 now before I get into this video I just want to say there is some requirements for this and the first requirement is go to the link in the description to download Microsoft C++ 2015 or you can use 17 and uh, that's what the site says but I use 2015 and that and they, I think that's the best one I'm not exactly sure and the second requirement is now the second one is that you need to turn off any virus protections or firewalls I only turned off my virus protection I didn't turn off my firewall so I don't think you guys have to but I know it's a requirement now if you don't turn these off I'm pretty sure my menu won't inject because it didn't inject for me because I had my virus protections on before but I did turn them off now once you turn them off you can go to the desking site and create your account and buy your membership and uh, the memberships are pretty cheap and they're pretty cheap I recommend this menu now once you create your account and buy a membership go to forms and releases you will only have this option once you buy the menu you cannot go to have this option you can only have when you buy it now you go to the top and get the latest release and download it and then once you download it it should be on your desktop or in a folder you know you can just open it now right here I already had it on my desktop so I'm not going to re-download it now once you download it what you want to do is run it as administrator all the time before you start it you always want to run it as administrator but I'm pretty sure you can go to compatibility and make it always run as administrator when you open it but I, I, I don't remember on how to do that so yeah and same with Grand Theft Auto 5 but I know you have to go into Steam and change that setting to it will always run as administrator on Steam so yeah now once that's all done you can start a Grand Theft Auto 5 but first you want to do is open the injector but like I said open it as administrator so what like I already have it so just run it as administrator and once you run it as administrator do the same thing with Grand Theft Auto 5 and I'll see you there now when loading into Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, the best thing to do is to inject it on story mode you can inject it online but you would get more f you would, more of the features on the mod menu will work if you inject it on story mode and you can just say you want to change your name if you got VIP you have to go on story mode and change it so you don't have to join a new lobby online so yeah I just wanted to put that out there now when you load it to Grand Theft Auto 5 what you want to do is get into the get to the injector so what you want to do is do an alt tab you don't have to pause your game you just do an alt tab and once you do an alt tab you, what you want to do is click that inject button and then once you click it so if it's your first time ever clicking it, the inject button, a uh, text box will pull up. And what you want to do is go back to the site, go to your account details, and generate a key. And then once you generate that license key, what you want to do is type that into the text box that popped up on your Grand Theft Auto 5 screen. You cannot copy and paste it. I'll just take a picture of it on my phone and then type it in. Now once that's done, and you type the text box in, basically what you want to do is click the star key on your number pad make sure it's enabled or you can click the insert key to open a menu and y when you know it's injected you'll see that little thing over there it'll have that your name from the desking site and it'll pop up and say welcome you can just hit the star key or the insert key to open a mod menu and then that's really it that's installation on desking injector aka mod menu now I am going to be doing a problem and solution video soon, so stay tuned for that. Well, thank you guys for watching, like the video and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comment below and I'm out. Peace.